Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is Access Controls ARA that is Access Risk Analysis. So in this training we will look at the configuration aspect of ARA that is once the installation is done for the GRC we need to do some configuration work so that we can start using and generating access risk analysis reports on top of it so let's see what is the configuration which is involved so that is the main objective for this particular session okay so first thing is let's look at the default configuration okay so how do we look at the default configuration it's basically we need to go to the Uh, we can go to common component settings okay so let's go to the IMG and in the IMG we need to go to common component settings okay so we are in the access control so out of this this is your common component setting integration framework and we need to go for maintain connection settings Okay, so in this, for this particular case, we need to look at authorization management and just select that. And you can see that this is what need to be configured. So we need to establish the, create the integration scenario. Okay, so just make sure that this part is, is taken care. Okay, if it is not there, we can create a new entry here. So you can see that this is there okay so let's go to the next step which is the rules so we will see how we can enable the rule sets okay and how we can assign connectors to the rule sets and we'll see how we can generate the rule set so first thing is setting up the rule sets so for setting up the rule set we need to make sure that we have uh, all the necessary BC sets are enabled and beforehand we need to make sure that we enable GR AC underscore RA underscore rule set underscore common okay so this is one BC set we need to make sure that this is the first BC set which is enabled okay so So for going to the this BC set we need to go to the transaction code called SCPR20. Okay, so let's go to this transaction code. Here you can see that this asks for the list of BC sets. Okay, using this we can activate the BC set. So GRAC underscore rule set underscore common. Okay, so this is the BC set. Okay, so if I just press enter, you can see that automatically it is able to find the short text for this. So this is one BC set that need to be activated. Okay, so that is the first step. That is activation of setting up the rule sets. Okay, next step is enabling the right rule sets. So for risk analysis, these are the rule sets that need to be enabled. So just take note of these rule sets. Okay, after this, I'll be adding a download document which will cover all these steps as well. So that in case if you want to just follow step by step, it will be there in that particular document also. So that is just a, an information. So basically, GRAC underscore RA underscore rule set so you will get the list of all the rule sets there okay if i press f4 you can see that these are the rule sets for apo for basis crm ecc hr r3 so we need to make sure that these rule sets are available so we just need to make sure that they are executed here activated here okay so if suppose if it is non sap we just need to click here and see what are the non-SAP ones which is present? 
Okay, so you can see that you have one for PeopleSoft, JD Edward, and Oracle. Okay, so these are the ones which is for non SAP. Now, assigning connectors to the rule sets. So we have set up the rule sets. So once we enable it, all the rule sets will come along with it. Now, the next thing is let's go back to the IMG again. Okay, so let's go to the IMG again and here we need to assign the connectors to the rule set. Okay, so for that we need to go to maintain connectors and connection type. This is this one. So execute this. You will see that you have the connector type and what is the text for that and if you select a particular one okay and you can see the, the target connector for that okay we can select these target connectors okay so this is the way it is selected so how do we select this so once we exit yes so here you can see that as a step one we need to come here select this and once we are done just click on the next tab so it will give you the interface to create the mapping okay so now the this mapping is done so we can assign define connector group so this is where the connector groups are there so we can see that these are the connector groups we have and say for ECC if I want to assign connector groups okay you have let's go back Okay, so for ECC assign connectors to connector groups. Okay, so EHT is defined. So this is the system which is connected already. So this is how we will establish the connectors. Okay, now let's go to generating the rules. So how do we generate the rules? We need to go to GRC. Okay, under that. access control below that sod rules okay so let me minimize this okay so under access risk analysis sod rules and under sod rule generate sod rules okay so here we can specify the risk sets Okay, and we can just click on execute so it will generate the rule sets for us now the next thing is we will look at so this is how we will generate it will take few hours to generate it so I won't do it here in the class but you can execute this okay now let's go to the next step which is jobs which is required okay so there are two types of job one is for synchronizing authorization second is for synchronizing repository so synchronizing authorizations there are these jobs which are there so we can either go through the IMG that is let's see the, in the IMG where are these jobs present okay let's go to the access control under that search for the synchronization job so this is the synchronization jobs that we have and under this list here you can see that in this particular list you have the authorization synchronization jobs you have repository object synchronization jobs action users synchronization job so you can see that these are the different jobs which is there for synchronizing these things okay so we want to run authorization sync so you can just click here so authorizations are synced okay if I click here you can see that which is the connector to be used so we need to specify the connector it will show the already connected the systems that connectors that we have already created and we can run this and it will show you that these are synced so second thing is repository object sync so authorizations are synced just click on execute it will sync the authorizations next is repository object sync so we can come here and sync the repository objects that is profile roles and users 
and we need to specify the connector because that is the one which will so all the data from this particular systems will be synced okay so we have seen authorization synchronization and repository synchronization okay so now we are ready to run the risk analysis report so all the preparation work has been completed now we can just run this and for running our first access management work center risk analysis report let's go to the interface okay so here we are okay under that we are in access management and under that look for access risk analysis so here you can see that this is extremely important so this is the core of this topic so all the risk can be generated out of here you can simulate the risk using here you can generate the risk at user level here so i will just click on user level risk okay so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this particular topic that thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye okay so it was timed out so let's execute again and here you can see that you can specify the system is this user is this so we will go into the details in our next training but this is how we can run our first access risk analysis report okay so thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye